Swadi Dawadi Almighty Creator. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Let the word of your mouth, meditations of your heart be accepted. We know him, be sure the desire, and everybody say, Amen. Sit down. On behalf of the council of the relative that meets the parliament of the moment, I want to welcome you to his presence today, all the Holy Ghost times all over the world, listening to me. In your various branches and countries. On your behalf, I give thanks to the Almighty for the life He has preserved and your life He has reserved for this time. And all the blessings and blessings. But that part of the community of the earthly dimension, you will agree that the way the world is going, what you need right now is the revelation for the now. The way things are going, what you need is the revelation for the now. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. It's very easy to find Deuteronomy. It's the beginning of your scripture. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Number, then Deuteronomy. Twenty nine, verse twenty nine. I am reading from the Holy Name Scripture. Verse chapter 29 of Deuteronomy is only 29 verses. So I am reading the last verse. The secret things belong unto Yahweh, our Elohim, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children for Ever, that we may do all the words of the law. This verse 29 of Deuteronomy 29, yes, may be the last verse according to the compilations of 
this scripture but there are a lot of information in this book of Deuteronomy a lot of information that will not just make you happy as a follower of the living it will make you a blessing and a blessedness to yourself and to somebody else what you are practicing your faith in him will be of no effect and we have no sense and it will make no sense if it is not accompanied with what is written in Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 if it is, if your faith in him in your heavenly father through his only son if it is not accompanied by the reality of what is written in Deuteronomy Chapter 29, verse 29. Then your faith in him of, is of no effect. And everything you may be doing in him may be long and void. How do you survive? In a time such as this, if there is no ability to reveal secret things, you like to see some people as extraordinary because they know one or two things. That is in the secrets. Sometimes you are cautious or you even fear and afraid of some group called occultic group and all witches. And some of these human beings that practice extraterrestrials. this consciousness because you believe they know some secrets it is very important that you should understand I have made this clear very very clear in the several gospel that the most powerful organization on earth should have been Christianity by my experience When I was in the Ukot, by my experience, when I was an Islamic scholar, and as for Ukot, you don't need too much explanation. You already have an idea. You may not know deep, but you have some uh, idea because there are some human beings that have one way or another come out. And they, you may have heard their testimonies on how some cross from darkness to light. And one of those major testimonies is the testimony of the Gaia that had brought all of us to where we are now. And 
make me to do what I am doing now and I have been doing that for 30 years. And this is a strong evidence and conviction that there is power in what you believe according to your faith in the only true father and his son the only Messiah Yeshua HaMashiach may be difficult if not impossible as you know that some of us or somebody like me we stand for 30 years to preach the gospel after I was born into a way I thought it was the only way of life. And that years ago, things turned around, as you know. Let me tell you if there is no power in what I have embraced for 30 years now and what I have confessed, and what I am confessing. There's no power in the salvations I had preached for 30 years. By now, I will have been history. Why I have to speak this way is concerning the Tarumi 29, 29. It is very important for you to know there are a lot of secrets in this world and in this life. And that the world and the life on its own is full of mysteries. Most time, People that follow the right way. As some of you that are listening to me in the Holy Ghost sense, and men and women of good will have chosen, you feel ordinary. And honestly, I don't want I don't know how you want to feel. Some of you, as far as you are consigned, or as long as you are consigned, because you are called, born again, you are converted, you have embraced salvation, you are living in redemption, you have the benefits of the Messiah. Maybe you even possess some gifts of the Spirit. Some of you, what you think is that every day when you lie in your bed, you should float. Your body should not touch your bed. When you are walking on the street, you should float. Your legs should not touch the ground. Some of you have your way you will not even eat at all because you think that it is through fasting that somebody has spiritual power. And I have said the time without number that it is not only Christian that fast.
what makes you to be powerful? It's not your fasting. What makes you to be powerful is the personality that back up your salvation. Maybe if you need to fast as one of the process for one or two things in your journey of life, then so be it. As you know, to all the normal Holy Ghost stands all over the world, if it is this issue of uh, stay without food and some other things that goes with it, the Holy Ghost stands actually fast three, three times in a week. When we were talking about some of the laws of the spirit, how you can be spiritual through the scripture, not how you can be spiritual through occultism, because they have their own spirituality but two of them don't they do not meet but they all function in the realm of spirituality what matters is that uh, the realm of one spirituality is higher than another realm, realm of spirituality in other words the realm of the spirituality you should be functioning in is what I call positive spirituality or positive supernatural. Why all other spiritualities, including occultic groups, they function in the realm of negative spirituality and or negative supernatural. The Positive spirituality you practice is what makes Christianity to be the highest in the, in the universe. The universe. Christianity is supposed to be the highest organization and all group of people in the universe. But unfortunately, Christianity suffer more casualty than any group in the universe. As they are completely ignorant of what they have. There is so much of information deficit in Christianity. So there are too many Makeups, concussion, trial by error, and this has have not helped. Something went wrong sometime in Christianity that the fathers of faith have refused. They have refused to take their time to find out what went wrong. But what brethren are rather doing now is opening church and collecting money and collecting tithes and uh, buying uh, uh, luxurious cars and buying uh, uh, private jets. So you can see that Christianity has become worldly. 
de without ability of authentic spirituality so sometimes when people diagnose as according to what Paul said he said he that is spiritual know all things and judge all things and he himself is judge of no man when he that is spiritual is talking You will hate your life and your future to criticize. Because when secret thing that is more than you and your generations are being spoken, whether to you directly or on the behalf of somebody, something else, The only thing you need to do, accept the one that belongs to you and do what you are asked to do, and the one that does not belong to you, learn from it. Because every spiritual thing that you learn makes you grow. And every secret thing that you know make you advance and makes you knowledgeable than any other person. We we not agree less with Paul, Apostle Paul. When he was writing to the Corinthians, the first Corinthians 15, chapter 15, and verse 30, that verse, that verse is very short. But I don't think people think about it when they read it. And when what he said in that verse is what is happening right now. What he said in that verse is what is happening to the earth right now. And it is what is happening to Christianity right now. Because Christianity should, be, should have been a group that will have stand in the gap for any generation in the time of confusion to give sense of direction. Christianity will have been, should have been an entity that should have stand in the gap for any generation for sense of direction in the time of confusion. But that is not what it is right now. As Christianity are more confused than any person. So occultic people, native doctors, and some of those extraterrestrial people, even witches, they have lucrative business now because a lot of people are consulting them why because they some of them are experts in the negative spirituality they practice and therefore they are using it on people and when they ask them to do something they will go and do it and it will work So that is why people are taking church and churches for granted. And they are shifting to negative spirituality. 
anybody that consults negative spirituality for any solution, it is very straightforward. That person is condemned already and is on his way to hell. That's the simple language I'm going to put it. Many of you that listening to the message on the expositions of the spirit of the dead, you understand what I mean when I try to explain. When you say somebody die, what happens really? When somebody is no longer breathing, what happens? That person that has been around for 70 years and is called old man, old woman, or been around for 80 years and is called old man, old woman, or somebody just died. Where do they go? And I'm sure to all the Authentic Holy Ghost fans all over the world. The only church that I've been able to demystify the spirit of the dead is the Holy Ghost stand. It's as a result of experience, so. Because nobody can give what he does not have. If I am giving what I do not have, I will have lack words for 30 years that I have been speaking. And to all the Holy Ghost and that are authentic, you can see that we do not lack words in the Holy Ghost. Tent. I say it is the only Holy Ghost stand in the, all the church all over the world that I've been able to demystify the spirit of the dead. A little bit of it uh, are all written in the book uh, Greatest Encounter with the highest power in the universe. That's just a little bit. So the problem we have right now is you don't have my time, I don't have your time. Maybe there will have been more understanding and if you want more revelation then we ask you the one you had before what did you do with it or you want to be ever learning and never come to understanding christianity is so used to so many pastors that so that behave as if a lot of things is at stake in their life. And they, are, they like following those kind of people. When somebody is behaving as if something is at stake in his life, you see him desperate. He wants crowd by force. He wants to do all kind of crookedness for, for, for crowd to gather. And after crowd to gather, there is nothing to give to them apart from quoting Bible. What makes you powerful? It's not Bible quotation. It's very important for you to know that one. Because Satan knows Bible more than you. If Satan is allowed to teach in the, in the Bible school, there will be no pastor that will defeat him in Bible lesson. I repeat, if Satan is allowed to teach in any Bible school, no pastor can defeat him in Bible lesson. What makes you powerful, let me come back to what I said before, is the power that back up your salvation. So I suppose that. When you are in a secret occult, they will expose you to some spirits. 
what makes an occultic man to be powerful is how they know in detail the spirits you are introduced to. That's all. What will make that spirit to work for you is how you have known the spirit. So when you want to invoke the spirit, you do exactly what you are taught and the spirit will appear. That's all. So my question for this number of years to all the authentic Holy Ghost and his have been, how authentic are you in salvation? How authentic are you in redemption? And I've made you to understand the difference between salvation and redemption. And we are not going to go into that because that is not what we are talking about. I did mention that the whole world, the whole world right now as it is, and the whole Christianity as it were, we cannot agree than what uh, Paul told the Corinthian in First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 30. That, that, that verse may be very small. And why, and why stand we in jeopardy every hour? And why we stand in jeopardy every hour? So some of you that don't, don't does not understand the language of the uh, that does not understand English, jeopardy simply means danger. So remove the jeopardy, replace it with danger. Then now read the verse again. Then tell yourself what is going on. And by what Paul said there, he said every. Hour. So as it were, he's saying that every hour is dangerous. What does that mean? Anything can happen to anybody anytime. And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? This is what is happening to the world right now. And this is what is happening to Christianity right now. And Christianity cannot do anything. What Christianity is doing is what the only thing I can call psychological comfort. The only thing Christians know to do, to, 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 to encourage themselves psychologically, is only to pray. When something is beyond their power, they say, brother, let's pray. But my question is that we always pray like that. Still, bad things will happen. Are you telling me that Christians did not pray before Buhari entered Nigeria? Are you telling me that there was no prayer? Are you telling me that there was no prayer such as, let thy will be done, O God, before Buhari became president of Nigeria? And it is clear right now that even the pre Buhari himself did not know that things will go as bad as this when he agreed to become the president of Nigeria. Now he is overwhelmed. <laughs> it's not a matter of just clinging into power it's knowing what to do and I told you that the worst thing that will happen to Nigeria 
is to allow Buhari to become president of Nigeria. And I said that before he became the president. But that time, it was like, it was like, it was like, it was like a win. Everybody talking about Buhari, 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 Buhari. You can see it everywhere. And the only thing they are saying, oh, it is only Buhari. Even Christians and pastors that should be inspired. It is only Buhari that can fight the corruption of Nigeria. I say, no, that is not what is available in the realm of the spiritual. What is available in the realm of the spiritual is that you are going to suffer if Buhari became the president. And now some of those brethren I was telling those days, I am not looking at them. I say, what are you saying again? They say, I regretted. Everybody is now regretting. But you know that don't just regret. Add eight years to that regret. And add it to your age before Buhari came into power. And now tell me, what have you achieved for the eight years of wastage of Buhari? So many human beings were alive, sound, healthy, before Buhari came into power, before bandits took over Nigeria. And the Fulani are now saying, Nigeria is their own. Many of us have lost people. And there is no group of people that have lost people than Christian in Nigeria. I don't need to tell you whether you know, because you know it, it is in this regime. Bandits confidently invade churches and spray bullets. Not one, not two times, not three times. Now we have lost counting. And I don't want to say people keep dying. Christians keep dying. The question we should ask ourselves. Are we not supposed to be a spiritual entity? What is available in the realm of the spiritual concerning this situation? So if we need to act, we act. Because surely there must be information in the realm of the spiritual concerning this, uh, this situation. But then, who is bringing this information out? As you know, everybody is in their churches, preaching their selfish interest, preaching my church, my tithe, my offering, my member, my congregation, maybe my cathedral. The cathedral that uh, bandits will soon enter and spray bullets. We are in a situation of how are the mighty falling and the weapon of war waste. Because right now, as it is in Nigeria, it is like everybody is just waiting for their turn. And when the turn come, there will be the first initial, oh, 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 ah, ah, and you see pictures in the internet, and then very soon everything begins to die down. We can talk about so many of that. So many reckless, abandoned things that have happened. I, I, like joke, uh, Christianity have forgotten Deborah somewhere. Maybe you you will remember the name, like a joke. A, 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 a girl that want to be educated, only for her to be killed by Muslim who are her colleague in the university, and nothing has happened. There was a picture in the internet, and whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Come. What about Leah Sharibu?
the girl that was adopted in this school, who wanted to, she wanted to go to school. And a science school for that matter. As a young girl, I remember the president of Nigeria, Buhari, said he was going to rescue. This is the, his promise to the parents of Leah Sh Sharibu. His promise to Leah Sharibu was he was going to rescue Leah Sharibu. It turned out to be that President of Nigeria only say what he will not do or what he cannot do. Right now, Leah Sharibu is being forced to marry a terrorist. Leah Sharibu has started giving birth. By the last time we heard, whether she has two or three children now, only because she does not want to denounce her faith. So my question is that the Christians that are concerned in this matter, were they not praying? Wisdom should tell every pastor, every churches, every Christian, that what is going on right now is beyond just praying. There is something that we need to do which we are not doing. When you are doing the same thing every time and there is no result, you should know that you need to do something else. And if you do not know that something else, you need to find out. And the only way you need to find out is what we are talking about today. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret thing belong to Yahweh, our Elohim, and those things that are revealed belong to us and our children. So I just like that. Things that are revealed. So they are mean. That means there are a revelation. There are a revelation. And when there is revelation, things come to light. There will be understanding. There will be sense of direction. What you, you have been doing before, you think that you are doing it right. But now there is a revelation, you will now begin to do it in another way. Because there will be a revelation as to how you should handle things right now differently. I gave you some examples some time ago. It's a time when David, when David uh, Israel is invaded. And the king of Israel. David, the greatest king of Israel. And then, just like what is happening right now, Properties and people are catered away. And David will say, Should I pursue? Should I overtake? Should I recover all? That is not what I am interested in. Because that is the thing, that is the next thing that David should say. That is prayer. But immediately, can somebody say immediately? David received a reply. And that is the revelation there. And what is the reply? Pursue. Overtake. And recover all. My friend. It is not as sweet as you have just heard it. The way you hear it now is very interesting. Maybe inspiring. Very encouraging. But let me tell you, my friend. David will not be able to pursue 
overtake and recover all if he has not been properly trained to be a warrior. Yes, David, maybe the king of Israel is a king. He can eat whatever he wants to eat. He has all kinds of good things around him. But let me tell you, to many of you that don't know, most of the kings of those days, every day they train for 12 hours. To defend their city. Every king trained for 12 hours every day. They have few hours to rest and few hours to attend to some things in the country. But they train more. They are not just trained because they want to do it. They are training in case it happens. But then even when it happens, they are not just going to move into action because they have the training. So that is what that is when belief now comes in. He will go into David will go into prayer before going to war. Should I pursue? Should I overtake? Should I recover all? <laughs> and he will hear pursue overtake and recover all. Before he moves into action. And that is how we know that you are called by predestination. Those days that I used to tell you, and even now, there are so many things I can do for you. In case you are willing and obedient. With what the heaven has made me, I can preserve you in security, even in the time of insecurity, such as this, with the covenant of my conversion. Just because you identify whether you know what Holy Ghost and is or not, maybe because you just like mm, I will conduct service, but I, I want to tell you, Holy Ghost and do not joke. Any, any person that is that claim to be Holy Ghost and that joke has only come to waste himself or herself. And what I tell you is what will happen And if you are so beclouded with your selfish interest and you want to go and do what her places you, I'm, I have never struggled with anybody since my conversion. I don't have that nature. You should have known that I am not one of the bishops that run up and down be following people. I don't have that time. I will tell you what I must tell you. If you like, take it. If you like, ignore me. But it's very important for you to know I am not cheap. But I know some things I can do for you 
that will preserve you. And I am not going to tell you maybe what you are expecting. The, what is in the mind of some of you, go and bring goat, go and bring salt, go and bring this. But I will even ask you to bring water. Because I know what I have and I know what I am doing. And on so many occasions, I've challenged Satan, witches, occultic groups, and set up on behalf of so many of you. And I have asked all those witches that are troubling your life to leave you and come and face me. Because every winch that is a winch indeed, every occultic person that is a occultic person indeed, if you are one of the people they should destroy, it is not Christian I just pray, 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 and nothing happens. Every occultic person that is a occultic person indeed, I keep saying that is a occultic person indeed, every winch that is a winch indeed, because some of them want to tell you, oh, I am okay, so that you, you will be afraid of them. Or some want to say, I'm a winch, so that you'll be afraid of them. When you are untouchable, they want to find out what makes you untouchable. And the next thing they will do, they will trace what are you connected to. And once they find out what you are connected to, they will leave you and go and face what you are connected to. They want to destabilize your source. So once they destabilize your source, then you will be helpless. It will be very easy to get you. And in most occasions, you that is being protected with a covenant, Sometimes you help the witches to destabilize your source. And you will not know you are helping the witches to destabilize your source. And when you become a pre, you'll be complaining. Since I've been going to that church, nothing good has happened to me. Da, 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 da. My friend, Spiritual things are very straightforward to those that know it. I'm not talking about people that claim it. Because we have too many claims in Christianity. So many. And they are right now very confusing. Everybody is claiming, I am called. I am called. I am called. And they, at the end of the day, you don't even know what to call them. Maybe they call themselves. But my observation if not uh, 90%, 90% of so many pastors, they have psychopathic ailments. In such, that means many, many people who say that they are pastors, they are psychiatric patients. Because what they say does not make sense. Spiritual and physical. They just jeopardize people's life. And put people's life at risk by what they say. I'm sure you know this uh, popular madness in Christianity. And they pray, 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 pray. You can pray, 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 pray. It will get to a time. Say, everybody, begin to speak in tongue. I want to ask you, it's a very simple question. The tongue you are speaking, is it equivalent to the, to the invocations of the magician? Or more? Is it equivalent to the conjuration of the occultic? Or more? I think it should be more. So I am not asking you, can you use your speaking in tongue to challenge a witch? Can you use your speaking in tongue to challenge a magician?
So that is to say, even so many of them that speak in tongues, they don't even know that. They are psychiatric patients. Because in, in, in occultism, they speak in tongue too, but their own speaking in tongue is dangerous. They will speak in their own tongue and this, a spirit will appear and talk to you mouth to mouth. Face to face. Christians, since you have been speaking in tongue, how many spirits have appeared? How many angels have appeared? Or do you just speak in tongue to tell people your spirit feel without effect? That sounds to me childish. It sounds to me something so much unserious. Well, I don't know what I'm sounding that way because of the, the place I left. If you want to tell me that you are, I want to believe that speaking in tongues is like invoking. If you invoke, there should be effect. If you invoke and there is no effect, you are speaking babash. And people that speak babash, they are in psychiatric hospital. They are just wasting your time. I don't know where the Christians get the whole time to waste. They do things that are not effective. Of course, Maybe because of what I said before. You cannot give what you don't have. I wish Christianity possessed the power the way it should be. The way things are going in Nigeria, you can see. There is a level of powerlessness. The level of handicap. Christians are handicapped. Christians are powerless. If you are not powerless, show it. It's as simple as that. It's a challenge. So once since I was since they got converted, that now, as I told you, by the end of this year, it's going to be 30 years in salvation. And so many of you are not stranger to that. 1992 has not been changed. And it has been put in writing and it has been circulated all over the world. It's in books that what I said. Some some Christians are so ignorant. They are so ignorant up to an extent they want to challenge what is more than them. And if you want to challenge, is it somebody like me you will challenge? You will ruin your life and ruin your career. I have the grace that, that will make that to happen. I've had a lot of Christians They don't know what I stand for, what I believe. 
Because as far as you are concerned by what I am saying, it's like their church will go empty and their, their, their church will, will follow me. Then they become jealous. And they, they will resort to praying against me. I'm sure those that, that are doing that, by now they are old. People that are praying against me since 1992. So maybe if they are 40 years that time, if, they, if you put 30 years, if you are 30 years to their age, right now they are 70 years. The prayer has not worked. I am seeing the man made by the heaven of the righteous, the man Satan cannot destroy. So if their prayer, if the prayer is going to work, is it uh, against somebody like me? So you can see, so many Christians don't know their, they don't know their mate. So many Christians are thought to be rude, very, very rude, with unexplained doctrines, very, very arrogant, with ineffective and unexplained doctrines ineffective and unexplained doctrine and you want to go and clash with reality that will ruin your life with ineffective and unexplained doctrine we need Revelation for the now. And this revelation for the now is not lacking in the Holy Ghost. End. If we do not have the situation of ever learning and never come to understand it. I know the amount of revelation that has come in this movement. I don't know what will have happened if from the beginning of this movement we are doing like other churches uh, preaching on TV, preaching on radios and several radios and several TV doing crusade every week the crowd will be too much And then we have, we have not been doing that. But somehow, the Holy Ghost do not like people. people. They do not like people. People keep coming. So you that listen to me in your branches, you will Ask yourself, I'm sure you did not come to Holy Ghost and because you heard it in radio announcement or television announcement. You came maybe because somebody invited you and you dragged your feet, you, you came. And maybe you heard some certain things and now you refuse to go again. But listen to me, it's not a matter of refuse, refusing to go. You stay in the Holy Ghost stand and do the right thing. If you don't do the right thing, we will throw you across the fence. 
I will throw you across the fence. No matter who you think you are. Because some of you, you are bigger than the reality itself. That is how demented that you are. That's so that when you see reality, you will not humble yourself. You will assume to be big than reality until we reduce you to one inch. So when you appear before the creator, you humble yourself. Because when you appear before the creator, there is one thing you are going to see. One thing. You will see what is more than you. You will hear what is more than you. And you will also hear what can change your life for the best. Forever. So, is that not enough to humble yourself? And if you want to show that you are something, we will tell you there is only one thing that they recognize in our midst, the Father in heaven. And what we must do. So it is not so the ghost stand that some of these witches that are rich that can come and intimidate. If you think that you have money, please stay in your house and chop your money. If you have money and you are humble, then you are welcome. And if you are rude, please don't come. If you want to come and tell us what to preach, don't come. Because this is what destroys churches. That is why there are only two churches on earth, Holy Ghost stands and others. And I have no apology. And the Holy Ghost stand indeed will understand what I'm talking about. All you need to do, Pack all the messages and revelation you have heard over the year, one side. And pack all the things you have known in Christianity, one side. Compare the two and judge. It's as simple as that. Revelation for the now. You need to put yourself in a situation, conduct yourself in, in a situation where you will begin to receive a timely revelation. Without that, what is ahead is dangerous. When you are crossing the crossover 2021 to 2022, I told you that what you saw in 2021 is a child's play. 2022 is like five pint of fire. There shall be multiple sorrow. Are you not seeing it now? You are told before. You are told there shall be untold suffering. You are told that blood will flow like water. Are you not saying it? As far as I'm concerned, and you are hearing me right now, anywhere you are hearing me from, by my way, you shall not be a casualty. Amen. And you know, you don't have to believe me. I'm not looking for who will believe me. I don't need your faith for anything. What I need, did you hear me? If you hear me, what I say will work without your faith. I pray.
prefer that you keep your faith one side, your faith disturb me. You hear me. Maybe when you see reality, you will believe by force in case you want to believe. What we should be talking about right now is revelation for the now. But the Christian that's supposed to be spiritual to have this revelation, I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is going on. Instead, there will be the, the preferred journey issue. Journey issue with uh, Tenubu. Journey issue with Tenubu and all, all of those principalities. It doesn't matter joining issue with Tinubu because he decided to choose Muslim Muslim. And then what, what about that? If you want to show him that he has done wrong thing, vote against him. Can you tell all your churches to vote against Tinubu? And your churches will obey you? I don't think so. Because right now Christianity is divided. Now, as always, Christianity has deficit of unity. And once you have deficit of unity, you cannot break through in the realm of the spiritual. When you have deficit of unity, you cannot break through in the realm of the spiritual. People join the issue. Join the issue. Some bishop attended to the booths, uh, whatever. And everybody is complaining. Whoa, 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 whoa. As a Christian, function like people that have psychiatric problem. If you don't have psychiatric problem, so because Tinubu have decided to use Muslim Muslim, so you are telling me all the all the Christian that Tinubu have ever had, we just hate him. All of a sudden. Or are you gonna tell me that you make you may hear that Tinubu is a principality? Are you gonna tell me that? There are no Christians that are close to him. Are you going to tell me there are no Christians he has helped one way or another? Direct or indirectly? So are you also going to tell me that you have power to make Christians who choose to be his friend to disassociate? You don't have such power. In Nigerian law, there is freedom of association. So if you think you have done what you did not like, simple. You have done what you do not like, very simple. Gather all your churches together and tell them who to vote for. Churches in Nigeria, can you do that? I don't think so because there is no unity. At the end of the day, they open their eye like that. Before you know it, bad thing will happen. And then they continue to pray. As if you have not been praying before the bad thing happened. I'm sure you know why people are saying, oh, uh, 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 all of those bishops, so-called, that attend the Tinubu's program, uh, is a uh, uh, stage manage. You know why people are talking? Because even those bishops too, they are cowards. Why are they cowards? 
Why didn't they grant press interview? And be bold enough to say, Timubu is our friend. He invited us. And we decided to come. Or his friend invited us. And we decided to come. And why are you people here? Didn't you hear that uh, uh, Khan has spoken against Muslim, Muslim ticket? Well, Tinubu is our friend. So we have no business with a Muslim and Muslim ticket. Because Tinubu is our friend, we decided to attend the program. That's it. But they didn't do that because they are cowards. Because I don't think there's any law they have broken. The, Christ, uh, the Christians that are against Muslim Muslim tickets, are they united? Oh, it is now that uh, Tinubu have decided to go for Muslim Muslim ticket. That is the time Christians are not pretending to be united. No, Christians are never united. That is why they will always be a casualty. If you, if you are united, Osiba Joy is, is a pastor. How did they pray for him to succeed? That is one. You pray for him to succeed? That is one. Or did you pray that Osiba just should become the next president of Nigeria for the eight years he has stayed with Buhari in Asorok? And the prayer will not be answered? I don't think so. Because if uh, the, this set of people are praying this way, another one will be praying that way. And at the end of the, the day, in the realm of the spiritual, the center cannot hold. If there is no unity of the spirit, just get ready to be a casualty. Simple. You are told the truth, you don't want to do it. Christian have said this again and again and again, too many things that is able to help. Nobody do anything about it. Well, that means Christian like to die. It's as simple as that. So when you die, don't complain. You say you die. You give yourself this conviction, you die, you go to heaven. Have you been to heaven before? You will be surprised what happens when you die. That is when you know that in your church they didn't teach you the right thing. What then can we say to all these same people if the foundation be destroyed? Nothing the righteous can do. If you are groomed on a destroyed foundation, your righteousness is baseless. That's the meaning of that. So if you give yourself this conviction that uh, if, the, if the Muslim come and kill you, even when you can defend yourself, you go to heaven, you will be shocked what will happen. You will not even cross the Rubicon before something stops you. But you know what? It's too dangerous. To die. And what you meet is regret. Too dangerous. Because there, you cannot adjust some certain things. It is here. You have room to adjust a lot of things. And if you think you are stubborn, no problem. May you not die in this stubbornness. That is my intercession for you.
By this time, we should hear that the Christian came together and said, This is what we are asked to do in a time such as this. They are not talking. It's underground talk. Everybody is talking underground. Everybody is talking underground. I took my time. I consult a lot of uh, authorities in, Christ, in, in Christian Association, in, in Pentecostal. I, I don't even understand what they are saying. You see divided interest. That's all I can see. Divided interest. And let, let Peter will be not waste his time with Christian because many of them are not with him. It's a one nation. If you like, don't take it. Or be, be, be clouded by all these psycho fans. Because right now, Peter will be, will be so overwhelmed with psycho fans. Psycho fans that will make him to fail. If Peter will be think. All the Christians in Nigeria are with him. He's the greatest fool I ever seen. If that is wisdom, do something with that. By what I have seen and by what I have heard. Revelation in the now is what you need, my friend. Listen to me. The way things are. Talk about you. You. Can somebody say me? me. Say me. me. Can you say me? me? Can you say me? me. Say me seven times. Two. Me. Three. Me. Four. Me. Five. Me. Six. Me. The last one. Me. Right now. When the unity of the spirit is not working to the Holy Ghost, and I told them, use the spirituality of your person if it is active. So you have to make the spirituality of your person to be active. If it is not active, then you perish with those that perish. It's as simple as that. Don't wait for the unity of the spirit. Because it is not available. Don't even wait for the unity of the spirit in the Holy Ghost. Because I don't trust so many of them there. Use the spirituality of your person. I have won you. If you are careless, without taking instruction and you die, I will order them to bury you and throw you away. When the unity of the spirit is not working, I have given you what to use. The spirituality of your person. Very important. At least you can use that for yourself and to some other people around. In case the spirituality of your person is active. If it is not active and you pretend that it is active, you deceive yourself. Because so many of you deceive yourself a lot. Don't forget what I said. Revelation for the now. In every difficulty you find yourself, there is always revelation for the now. That was what made me to say. There is always what to do when you don't know what to do. Come. The time shall not come 
when there is what to do and you don't know what to do because the earth has not ended the end of the war has not come and as long as the end of the war has not come there is always what to do when you don't know what to do what you need to tell me is you are not exposed to what to do but there is what to do when you don't know what to do there is a lot of information in the realm of the spiritual there is a lot of information in the realm of the spiritual revelation for the now what you need now is revelation for the now so what do you need to do as a person when you find yourself in a state of difficulty a state of difficulty which is all over the place right now revelation revelation is divine and all supernatural disclosure revelation is divine and all supernatural disclosure to human or to human being of something relating to human existence divine and all supernatural disclosure to human being of something related to human human existence that is revelation so when i talk about revelation i want to remind you of the one that is closer to you i don't want to go into extreme the extreme on how you can see vision because i can't begin to teach you how to see vision now because so many of you you are so battered you have been battered situation has battered you so to see vision you can't concentrate and if you if you cannot concentrate you can't see vision maybe if you see anything you are hallucinating That was why I told you something some time ago about sleep. What did I say? I didn't say you should sleep. Oh. I say as it was right now, nobody is sleeping. Even children, you think that they sleep anyhow. They are not sleeping. Uh, let me tell you, sleep is more spiritual than physical. And sleep is beneficial when you sleep where? If you don't sleep where, then you will know that lack of sleep is torment. Lack of sleep brings so many troubles, including madness. That is how madness starts. Madness starts from people who cannot sleep. When people want to become mad, the first thing that will happen to them is sleepless night. They won't be able to sleep. Night and day, their eye will be open.
you need a situation whereby whatever thing that is about to happen to you at least you have between the day and the night you have that few hours to know something that will either happen in that night or things that will happen early in the morning and you have to be updated you have to be updated because right now the pestilence that walk out in darkness all the terrorists they have not learned to be operated in the night I'm sure you know Kujie prison was invaded the night all the Christian brethren that have been killed in their places I had one last week or uh, in Plateau State the terrorists invaded the village in the night always in the night when people are sleeping why not somebody that same night that same place in that same village somebody will receive a revelation and get up by the time you look at time it's 1 a.m and you hear move out eh? and of course you know that is not possible now I'm sure you think you are not here anyway. I am telling you what should be happening to Christianity and to Christians. And that is what I call timely revelation. And that is very easy. But the way things are going on, it's becoming very difficult. Because things that will make it easy keep invading you. You are so battered. You are so scattered. You are not composed. You are not organized. You are not together. You are not yourself. Why? Too many things. Too many things. Too many things confronting you. But let me tell you, everybody, if you want to be spiritual you have to live one life at a time probably not the finish oh. as long as you are on this earth but you know what the problem that is always there what you need to handle those problems is the spirituality you are ignoring i don't care how many those troubles are but is it possible for me to tell you don't worry at the end of the day i will not be deceiving myself no matter how somebody tell you don't worry you will see yourself worrying But it is a thing you must do for yourself. Yes, there are so many things to worry about. But listen to me. If you are a worried person, first of all, what, what, the, what did I call you? An idol worshiper. A worried person is an idol worshiper. That is who you are in the realm of the spiritual. That's how you are known in the realm of the spiritual. That is to say... Before you will be spiritual to receive revelation that is authentic, deliver yourself from worry first. Tell somebody, deliver yourself from worry first. I wish, it's a wish, oh, I wish it's possible. Because if you are not delivered from worry, 
When you go to sleep, my friend, you cannot dream. If you dream at all, you are not dreaming about your worries. Because he who did not sleep as in sleep cannot dream. And if you dream, you are only replaying your worry. And sometimes your dream are distorted. So it will take an expert that can interpret dreams. So we remove worry from the revelation. Then we'll be able to bring out what exactly that you are being told in the revelation. People that do that on earth are not many. It's only in the Holy Ghost time we used to do that. Some time ago, before something happened, and then we stop. And of course, you know, you know, all dreams that have been, that were interpreted so far all come to pass. If you hate yourself, don't do what you are told. Well, we're we'll looking at you. That's your business. That's your choice. But there is something about the, about life. That was why I said to you, life is mysterious, and you don't need more than that. You don't need all of these pastors. You don't know where they get their power from. What you need is to be properly taught on what divine spirituality is. Some time ago, I asked some of you. I can't. Even, I don't even know if you still remember what, what I call divine, divine order or the 40 laws of perfection. Which I gave to you. 40 laws of perfection that can make you to excel very easy in the language of the spiritual. Now, instead of you to put all of these ordinances into considerations and meditate upon them, you are busy running after minor principalities that have ruined you to the state you are right now. And for me, who was your teacher, and I am not accusing you as ever learning, but never come to understanding. So many things to be worried, yes? It's a law. It's a law. I didn't call it a law. It's a law. A worried person is seen in the realm of the spiritual as an idol worship. You hold that, I'll keep. Number two, if you worry, you cannot excel in the realm of the spiritual. As you will always be confused. And from confusion, you will be frustrated. And from frustration, you will think the Father in heaven is not working for you. How do we get you to concentrate on the way here matter? And stop chasing shadow, especially minor principality that will ruin your life. Because some of you, you, you will, de you will deteriorate, deteriorate to, a, to a level whereby you, you ignore the order, the spiritual order, and you'll be going after an individual that have not even been able to know or to do anything concerning their miserable life. You are behaving like somebody 
that somebody promised you he will give you clothes but you are not looking at the clothes he is wearing so you are easily deceived before you know it you will be walking against the covenant that has been helping you I will make you very easy to capture by the witches or any other negative thing that are trailing you here and there My friend, if you sleep well, I don't want to go into, I don't want to go into interpretations of dream again, because I have thought that before, and it was a long teaching. How you can interpret your dream? We even went into Pataka. I was interpreting people's dream and, and you did not pay me. So I want to believe that all of those interpretations of dream that time has not become paying evil for good. The only thing that is very close to you right now, try as much as possible, no matter what you hear, because you are going to hear them, no matter how bad what you hear is, try to control yourself. Do not allow it to enter into your spirit. Do not allow it to enter into your soul. If it does not enter into your soul, it will not enter into your imagination. If it does not enter into your imagination, then there will be no vanity preacher to create. Because what you hear control you a lot. What you see control you. Now that we are in the world of hearing, 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 you hear internet, you hear, you hear, uh, uh, is it Bluetooth, you hear Twitter, you hear YouTube, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear principality, you hear, you hear, you keep hearing until you are saturated with fear and anxiety. And when that happens, you are spiritually devastated. And by the time we come really, really close to you, we find out that you are struggling with, you have no money in the pocket. We find out that it's time to pay school fees you don't have. We find out that there are one or two things to be done concerning some of your children. We find out that electric bill is there. Even when they don't bring the electric for you, you find out that there are too many worries about your relation. Don't you see? You are you are choking. Someone that is free are the people that can receive revelation. If you have learned from reality. If you have learned from the reality, I don't think there's any problem you have in your life that I do not have triple. I mean, triple. But you can't see it in my face. Why? I'm living one life at a time. I'm not combining my life with the life of my mother, with the life of my father. I am not combining my life with the life of my wife or the life of my children. One life at a time. If my father is around me, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. If my mother is around me, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. If my wife is around, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. And what I cannot do, I will not do it because I can't do it. But I'm not going to worry about that. And if anybody is asking me to do what I cannot do, it's time for me to separate.
It's as simple as that. And I have shown it as an example severally to the Holy Ghost and the half sense. You want to tell me to do what I can't do, my friend? It's time to call it a day. I'll tell you, it's nice that you come around, but you are a bad acquaintance. I got to throw you away, my friend. Because if things go wrong with me, spiritually, I don't think you can help me. If things go wrong with me, by my experience, by what I have experienced so far, so many of you will leave Holy Ghost and go to another church. You will not come around me to think, oh, this person is having a problem. Let me go close. Can I help? Can I help? No. You see him as a superhuman. Oh, why? Wah, 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 wah. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Why do we need to do this? Why do we need to do that? Why do we need And for me, I will allow you to be open the eye and I will still do my things. Because if things go wrong with me, I don't think you can help. You can't even help yourself. So since I know what I'm doing, I will go ahead to do what I'm doing and leave you to be complaining. But after you all of those complain, you will come back and find out that the guy is still intact. And um, maybe that is your experience. Or oh, you think you have a problem in your family, witches hate you, or court people hate you, you have a lot of enemy, your enemy are your brothers, your enemy are your sisters, your enemy are your friends, your enemy are your colleagues. I have problem more than that, my friend. I left 390 secret occult of the universal control. That means 390 secret occult will begin to pursue me since 1992 till I don't think what is pursuing you is up to 390 secret occult. And I'm sure you know that one of the occult alone, one of the occult, you have so many human men that make up one of the occult. So it's like you have 390 group. That will surely be against me because I have left them, including Islam. I don't think I need to repeat it to you again for you to know that I have letter of death sentence from Saudi Arabia. The letter is still with me up till today. I have letter of death sentence from Iran. Almost 30 years ago, but my friend, I am still alive. I am still around. I am still talking. Spiritually, physically, they have not been able to get me. Don't you think it's too late? The only preacher in Nigeria that has spoken against Dan Fodio. And I'm still walking around. Deborah Samuel did not say up to that. She was stoned to death. I have said things that is worse than that against Islam since 1992. I'm still alive. I put it into writing. It's in the greatest encounter. The greatest encounter is sold in the Amazon. If you are from village, you don't know what Amazon is. Go go it. What am I trying to tell you? No problem you think you have that I don't have more than that. But you know what? You can't see it. 
Why? I have just simply do what I should do according to the law of life and the law of the spirit. That's all. If, as, if I function as a result of the law of life and the law of spirit and I offend you, so be it. I don't care. Because what I will, what I will ignore is what will devastate me. Spiritual and physical. Because if anything goes wrong with me, by experience, I have learned from you people. All of you will decide. Do you know what the scripture say? Smite the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. At least I have seen that real time. And the greatest thing the heaven had ever done for me is to make me to live and survive without being at the mercy of anybody. I am surviving. You people don't know how I survive. Because I think if there are a preacher that are no beggar, I am number one. If you are a preacher that do not run after people, for one thing or another, I am number one. If you are a preacher that I did my day, you do your day, I am number one. And I have done that for 30 years. So I can confidently say what Paul said. I have not eaten any man's bread in vain. Instead, you people have eaten my bread in vain. Because you have benefited from my spiritual experiences and the demonstrations of power. No, there are so many things I can do which I am not doing now. Because Everything that I, I was ordered to do, they are all within my discretion. I can decide to do them, and I can decide to shut it, and nothing will accuse me. So, if you say you have reason to be worried, because there are some certain things in your life you cannot meet up with, You know my testimony. How I fell from Olympia Heights. You see, this, it may look like a fairy tale until you find myself in my situation. Until you find myself in my situation. That you find yourself in a height and might. You relate with people that matters in this world. From virtually the, from the womb till you were born, till I was 27 years old when I got converted. I was 27 years old when I got converted, my friend. I have not changed my age. And now I am 57. You know my relationship with Saudi Arabia. You have heard the story. And I have not changed the story. The story is all over the world. All of these uh, re refurbish uh, uh, private jets that some of your pastors in Nigeria are displaying. I never used refurbished private jets. All the private jets I used since I was born, they are all custom made. Go and find out what is custom made. So as you say, as at the age 27, I have three or four private custom-made jets. The ones that have bed, pillow, in them, not just sit down in the seat like this. 
The one you'll be inside, it will look as if you are in your living room. I am not talking about fleets of custom made cars. I left all of this because of conversion. And I am now struggling with credibility. May you not find yourself in my situation. Somebody left father, left mother, left everything he owns. Only for you to come to the, to the people that don't believe you. What is more painful than that, my friend? What is more painful than the people you are sacrificing to help spiritually and physically, but they are tormenting you from the back? What is more painful than that? What is more painful than you know what you left? Though I am not conversing for acceptance, I have never conversed for acceptance. I only do my best to everyone that come around me to make sure you are comfortable spiritually and physically. I mean you, not me. I will sacrifice to give my money, the money that the heaven provide that I should survive with. I give you to survive. Still, I am struggling with credibility among the people I should call my own that should accept me. I find myself in the situation of the Messiah that came among his own and his own received him not. That was what John the Baptist said. Until you find yourself in that situation, you will not know what that means. So do you have a problem with what that means now? You will not know what it means until you find yourself in my situation that you want to marry somebody as a wife bringing the person from dustbin to your house and the person you want to bring to your house is working for your own downfall pretending pretending to be good pretending to be righteous and you think i will not know and if you take action, you say, ah, he's a man of God. Why he take this action for me? Now I will wait for you. When your uh, satanism is ripe, I push you into the pit you have dug. And I will stand clean. And by then, your iniquity are put into writing. And distributed. So nobody can say, ah, he, if you are talking, you're talking against me, it's just that you don't know what is happening. And by the time you know what is happening, you will blame your rotten mouth. I said, may you not find yourself in my situation. So, what is the problem you have, really? You are easily distracted, that's your problem. It's how bogus my problem is. Is how bogus the level of my spirituality is. The level of the thing I have defeated is what makes me divine. You know that you can't you can survive. But that is not my fear. That is not my fear. Because I know whether there is war or there is no war, I will always survive. That is sure. Because I was told the day I am dethroned from the third heaven, that is the day I will disappoint you on earth. So, as long as the earth still remains and the earth has not gone into extinction, I will not always be disappointed. Because he has not been dethroned yet. He has kept on his promise. When all things around me, if things I call my own so-called, are falling and falling apart, I was not disappointed. I was not disappointed. So it is good to be converted and be converted really good. 
it is good to be converted and, and be truthful. Let me tell you this straight thing. I have told you two. I'll add another one. Try as much as possible. Maybe I will explain small thing. Try as much as possible to sleep. That does not mean you sleep for 24 hours. By the time you, you sleep for 24 hours, poverty will be waiting for you at 25 hours. The British people say, or science say, the normal human beings sleep at least 8 hours in a day. But you know what? The way things are now, it's not possible. Don't let anybody deceive you. It's not possible. This is the time people wake up by 3 a.m. and they will begin to go to work. People wake up by 4 a.m. and they begin to go to work. So many people are not sleeping. You lie down and you close your eyes. You cover yourself with clothes. That does not mean that you are sleeping. No? That does not mean that you are sleeping. See, let me briefly show you what I, what I did show you last week. Very, very briefly, I asked you to note four things down when I was giving you the definition of sleep. And this definition of sleep is according to dictionary. And in this definition, I gave you four things that you have to consider. Sleep. A conditions of body and mind that typically recall for several hours every night in which the nerve system is relatively inactive. That is one that I gave you that day. The nerve, nerve, Nervous system is system and nervous system is relatively, relatively inactive. That was one I gave you. Then number two, I said the eye close. Number three, the posture muzzle relax. The postural muscle relax. That is trio number four. And consciousness typically suspended. And consciousness and consciousness typically suspended. If I want to explain this four thing to you, we are going to be entering another seminar. But we don't need it. Just go and meditate on those four points. And see if you can do something about it. In this uh, definition of sleep I gave, I didn't, there is no take drug inside. If you take drug to sleep, that is not sleep. You are only being knocked off. It's like you are put in the theater room and we need to knock you off. So that we can cut you open and then get rid of what is wrong with you. That is not sleep. You only knock off. I mean, the sleep that the scripture said, he gave his beloved sweet sleep. You see this sleep? may not be more than two hours. And if you actually sleep for these two hours, the kind of revelation you are going to have, because, see, by the way things are, you cannot longer sleep for eight hours. Tell somebody, you cannot longer sleep for eight hours. 
if, if you want to. Because to sleep for eight hours, me, you will sleep by 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. And maybe you wake up around 6 a.m. And bandits use a strike. <laughs> they used to strike from 12, 1, 2, sometimes 3 o'clock. So that means they will always catch you in the sleep. May they not catch you in the sleep. Oh, you see that? That is to say, the heaven right now is the one that should program you. Say, heaven program me. So that if you are going to sleep for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours if the heaven allow you to sleep for four hours, that is luxurious. You are, you are in luxury. Right now, the heaven allow you to sleep for four hours, ah, you are already in luxury. Because even if you sleep by 10, 11, <laughs> 12, 1, that is when bandits use so God more. So even if it is going to be 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, you are going to sleep within this heavenly programming. Can somebody say heavenly programming? Heavenly program. Within this heavenly programming, all the relevant information that you need that night in the morning and throughout the following day the heaven will just pack it and summarize it for you and immediately you wake up you will understand it very clear say i will understand it very clear this is what i want for you receive it that is a revelation for the now any other thing is casualty. And you shall not be a casualty. Amen. 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 The three things I need to give to you. Stop worrying. I know you have a problem. But stop worrying. The heaven know that there are things to be worried about. That was why he said, be anxious for nothing. I'm not the one that wrote that. The scripture said, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, in prayer and supplication, let your request be known. Now listen. Are you saying the heaven don't know that there are things to be worried about? Don't forget, it's Alpha and Omega. Don't forget. He knows everything about you. The worry that is coming on the way, he know it before it arrives. So and I am telling you now, as somebody who is an expert in the realm of the spiritual, it is against the law of the spiritual of any dimension to be worried. Even occulty people, they deliver themselves from worry. That is why you see that many of them, they, they don't joke with their sanctum. And when they withdraw to their sanctum, they don't want anything to worry them there. That is why when some of them are conjuring, they remove, they, they strip themselves of everything that will distract them, including stripping themselves naked in their sanctum, so that nothing will distract them. This is the law of life, my friend. Do you not know why all the prophets, they live their life on the mountain? Do you not see why all the prophets and the father of faith live much of their life in isolated area? But listen to me, right now, no mountain to go because bounties have taken over mountain. No? Don't deceive yourself. Oh. They are now warning people. Don't go for Skype, you know. Because bandits now know that Christian used to go to mountain. So they will be on the mountain before you arrive. They are more disciplined than yourself now. And they are more focused. They are now hiding. 
a mountains waiting for Christian to come and pray. In Abuja, several dead bodies have been found in several mountains. They don't know who killed them. So you can see that survivor is tougher now. Because there is no isolated place to withdraw to. You have no choice than to make use of your house. <laughs> and or make use of your church. And quickly gather what the hell will have for you. In the revelation for the now. Can somebody say revelation for the now? That's what you need. And listen to me. Let me warn you. Don't go and worry yourself about these politicians. Because many of you, you are worried more than Peter will be himself. You are worried than Atiku. You are worried than Tinubu. My friend, all these people, they know what they are doing. If he eventually entered there, he will find it tough. If he eventually entered there, is that going to be easy for him? Don't you know if you have sense by what we have been saying these days? We are in for clashes of principalities. Can Peter or B withstand them? Who is his backbone. That is my question. If he doesn't have backbone, his back will soon break. It's not a cause saying the obvious. Because when the principality crash, if you are nothing, you will just evaporate. I hope he can withstand them. I hope he will even survive before that time. Because I can see grave in front of him. May the righteous hand remove this grave in his front. We are talking about revelation for the now. Listen to me. By what I have discovered and the research I have consulted in the realm of the spiritual, Peter O.B. does not have the power to contend with the principalities that are on ground from every angle. I mean, from every angle. So if we now want to begin to analyze it, analyze it, analyze it to the baby, to the base, to the base, I mean, ridiculous base. He is, a, he is a Labour Party. How many members of Senate are in Labour Party? How many members of House of Assembly are in Labour Party? So the people that will assist him are already with him. <laughs> if you don't understand what I mean until that time. Yes, some of them, some cowards will be part with the camp in case Peter will be with. Some cowards will be camp to Labour Party, but it's not enough. So how do you push to new book or principality of this world, one side? And push Atiku of this world, one side. And all the lesser principalities that support them. My friend, it's not going to be easy. This is a time for someone that is as vulnerable as Peter will be to look for a backbone. I hope he will find it. Spiritual, authentic backbone. Not all this pray for me thing. I hope he will find it. Otherwise, you will know all this yelling of the guy is not for nothing. You know for me, I say things before they begin to happen. And when they begin to happen, I keep quiet. I won't talk again. As for you, I desire that the revelation for the now 
The righteous heaven will allow it to come upon you. Amen. The revelation of the now come upon me. Amen. Say with your mouth. The revelation for the now come upon me. Say very well. All the youths, girls, boys that are listening to me in all the Holy Ghost and branches, you should say it more than anybody. The revelation of the now come upon me. Because you need it more. You need it more. Your future is at stake than any other person. Some of your parents, they have reached the full stop of their life. But you, you need to go to school. But Nigeria is a bad place to go to school. How should I be no strike? And several strike, and several strike, and several strike. And some of your group are graduating, even in the nearby Ghana. So heaven need to help you. Through the revelation of the now, if by your predestination you need to get out from this country, let there be provision. Amen. However it happens, I don't care. Let there be provision that will put you from this mess. Amen. You know my problem? Old age. Old age. That's my problem. All this uh, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. By the time you add it together, my friend, you are no longer yourself. And the worst thing that can happen to you is to have a wasted age without achieving anything in Nigeria that they are already wasting. In Nigeria, the principalities are already wasting. And they know what they are doing, I'm, my friend. I say they know what they are doing. They pack money and pack money and pack money. But they say uh, he don't have money to buy to buy a uh, form. Abi, you need to come and ask me how much FBI are now speculating that is in Buari account in America. They are keeping quiet now. They are keeping quiet. Let Buari face us at the end of his tenure that he does not have that money in his account. And even much more than that in dollars. Dollars in millions. Or oh, what is your wife doing in Dubai, Buari? You say you have no money to buy from is your wife living in a rented house in Dubai? I want you to say yes, Buhari. You see, they know what they are doing. You are the only one that you are the only that is a fool. Have you ever seen anybody that they will use honey to rub me mouth? I don't know that. Even if you don't do like the principality that surrounds him, you say, Oga, now you're telling me this, so if you don't want chop, we go chop. Oh. As I'm talking to you now, Buhari too, he's handicapped. If you don't want chop, we go chop. And it, it cannot be the only one that will, that will bring a positive so-called change. He need people, he need ministers, and some of these ministers are principality on their own. It's not enough for uh, boy to tell them, go and do this. They say, yes, sir. They will go and do something else. No. Why are you not in Nigeria? I don't need to tell you, Jonathan. Some of us know some certain things. Jonathan will sign crude oil allocation. I mean, presidency signature. And design it will change it. And Jonathan cannot say anything. Oh, you see? There's a problem. You, 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 you need help. And the help should start now. Can somebody say the help should start now? The help should start now. As far as I'm concerned, the help is overdue. Yes. The, help, the help is overdue. 
the happy so I can see somebody is wasting and you shall not waste stand up by my way you shall not waste can you say I shall not waste say it say it say it say it say it look 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 my friend look my friend I am very serious I am very, very serious. You don't know the level of my seriousness. I don't need to be in an emergency war because of you. So that you know I am very serious because of you. In fact, put your two hands on your head. Righteous heavy. By my way. I shall not wait. I don't want you to know the definition of wastage and you shall not know it and you will say it correctly in any country that you are Holy Ghost stands and men and women of goodwill in any country that you are you will say it correctly and to you in Nigeria I shall not waste in Nigeria when you say that the heaven will hear it Hello. What is your name? I shall not waste in Nigeria. Say it. 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 Say it! Say it! Say it! Say it! Fourteen times! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! One! If only you that sing today, you know that what you have said will come to pass. You will know the good thing that the heaven has done in your life. I mean, you and the very you that say this very thing. Surely. If heaven deliver you from wastage, it has delivered everybody around you from wastage. Because when a room is made for a man, look, your room is a whole So you can accommodate those that are close to you. You can accommodate your children. You can accommodate your relation. But I insist that you shall not waste. You think it's a wonderful thing to go to America until you reach. That's where you will know that it is not easy. Have you heard that every money you make in America finish in America? You have not heard it until you reach. There may not be B to pay. You are paying stupid bill in Nigeria. You are complaining about B. When you get to America, you find out that you use 95% of money you earn to pay bill. Your eye will clear. 
Uh, your problem is uh, no electricity. You will see electricity until you tire, but you will pay for it. And it is very important for you to also know there is no part of the world that is secure today. The way they are uh, uh, bandits are. It started from America. The entry judges are shooting people in America. Up to the last two weeks. So no way secure right now. Satan has saturated everywhere. But for you, the heaven want me to tell you that you shall not waste. I said the heaven want me to tell you you shall not waste. What the heaven want me to tell you, I have told you. Don't forget, remember, the revelation for the now, if you like, take me for granted, as usual. That's your choice. You know, for me, I don't know who come to church, I don't know who don't come. You come, you come for yourself. You don't come, you don't come for yourself, because if you come, I don't need anything from you. Don't forget this straight thing. We may not be able to talk detail about it, but think about it and do something about it. Sleep. According to the definition of sleep, and according to what is available in the name of the spiritual, don't forget. If it's 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, you are able to sleep, let everything that is about to go wrong. When during the night as you are sleeping so this revelation is immediate 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 because if we do not handle this immediate revelation your future does not exist we have to talk about your immediate existence before you enter into your future that's why it is called revelation hold it now Sleep. Don't worry. No matter what you hear, be fast to forget. Even as you go anywhere and you have to do like this over dead bodies because <laughs> I cannot say you may not see that. You may have to stretch your leg to pass dead bodies. Before you reach your homes in some in some circumstance. All I know is that you survive. When you get home, after seeing that disaster, be fast to delete it. Ha! Ah, how possible is that? Try. And the heaven will help you. Because you don't need any distraction to be able to acquire revelation of the now. If you don't get it, something will go wrong. It's immediate. I mean, the revelation may start from that night. That night. That we already tell you what to do because of something that is about to go wrong. In, in fact, about something that will wake you. And by, by the time you look at time, it's 2 o'clock. Many of you that like church, that is not the time to go to church. 2 o'clock. Who will you meet here? You will meet the vigilante of the church. So it is now what you have been taught to do. Or what you have been told to do. Or the revelation has been given to you. That is when you, what you will apply immediately to remain secure. As they break. This is the level we are right now. Sleep. Tell somebody sleep. sleep. And if you are living with some people in the house or in the place, please learn not to be a problem with somebody else. Because the somebody else you are a problem to may be the one that will receive the revelation that will secure everybody throughout the night and as the day break. 
If we have to begin to, if you want to me to begin to tell you, 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 by tomorrow, this will happen. You, you, ah, how many of your people will I say it to? If I want to do that, we will be here for six months. Because I have to address all the Holy Ghost and in their various branches. I have to address all the people, uh, Holy Ghost and all over the world. I will not just go, I will not just do it to one person. So, all I can do is to use a corporate inspiration. With the heaven has given now, and it is going to work. Amen. And I will hear testimony later. Amen. I know I will hear testimony. Immediate, immediate. Something you need to do. So that the devil will not just catch you unaware. For information, everywhere is saturated with bandits. I, I, I was able to analyze Iswab to you. And me to hear that Iswab enter Abuja and they are as close as Kujé prison, my friend. <laughs> that is not easy. I happen to talk with the military base the bata uh, military battalion, uh, 176 battalion. They are the one in charge of the whole of that area. About five or four local uh, council, including Kujay. I asked them what happened that day. They told me exactly what happened. And let me tell you, they are also in shock. Where this swap pass because you must pass Kawalada. You can't come into uh, uh, inside Abuja. You must pass through Gawalada to come into Kuje. Kuje is rather in the town. And I was able to do some calculation for you. I say between Kuje, maybe Kuje prison, and Asorok. There is not, there is no uh, hold up in Airport Road between Kuje and Asorok. Plus one minus 30 minutes, 25 minutes. You are in Asorok. It's as close as that. So as it were, people between Kuje, all those uh, estates, massive, massive estates, Airport Road, Lube. Then enter into the town, to the stadium, and uh, on and on to Constitutional Avenue, to American Embassy. My friend, Iswab have penetrated everywhere. By the Iswab that I know. Very well. I don't need to begin to tell you how I know them. You already know. I want to believe that it was a slip of tongue where some people say it may be Iswab until they came because I said if it is Iswab they will release a statement and they did and I said man this is a problem because before Iswab we attack Kuji all of those estates all those centenary centenary whatever all those uh, centenary asses Look by one, look by two, look by three, or whatever it is called, airport road, down, down to the town. They have investigated everywhere and they have gotten their report because they get their, re their report per minute, per minute. And I was able to give you some security tip. Which I don't want to go into again about all of those uh, about of them, all those shoemaker them, all those things that that that, that 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 come around you. Informant. Informant. That's why they are the one that will be able to tell you no security there. <laughs> and they will just come, have a swear time, go. Otherwise, you tell me he swap. Up to today, Nigerian government is still saying about 300 of them came on motorbike. They fly, they disappear and reappear. Where did they pass? Up to now, 176 battalion. 
they are still in shock to ask themselves where do they pass they don't know where they pass see there is no security anywhere so you need a revelation for the now am i talking to somebody when i was in Imo state i gave you your home i told you in Imo state how close fulani has been to the to the church there as close as toronto this i saw with my eye nobody told me they are everywhere they are the one kidnapping people in the east southeast south south how do they penetrate that is their work they want to take over the place for islam and if you joke with them may you not watch and see what will happen if you take them for granted may you not watch. i told you who trained them so as to know that these people are not just they as far as they are concerned nigeria military is inferior because i told you people that train them are american marine go and find out who are the american marine american commando death squad <laughs> Who left American army and joined Al Qaeda of those days? And by by extension, ISIS, by extension, Islam, and by extension, Boko Haram. Boko Haram. If I was told it's Boko Haram, I said, yeah, that's nothing. Although Boko Haram is trying to form affiliation with Islam, that is very dangerous. You need the revelation for now. Can somebody say, I need the revelation for the now? I need the revelation for the now. That's your know. If you say you want, you want to die, that's a coward. That's a coward. You will not die at all. And what will make you not to die? I am telling you now. Hello? Sleep. They leave us from worry. If you are the vigilante of the environment, well, I don't know about that. You can still create that to sleep. And you have just been told, hey, this is not the time people sleep for eight hours. I look into your eyes, as you look into my eyes, and I say to your precious heart, you shall not be a casualty. Ah. In any country that you are living in, including Nigeria, right now, Nigeria is a worse hit because there is no response. Even the military, they are that in the battlefield. When they run out of ammunition, they call for backup, nothing is coming. You are calling people that send you to go and fight, and you tell them, well, I don't finish. Oh, this town is as here. Nobody is answering you. That means, what are they telling them? Go and die. Die there. Don't come back until you are asked, and you don't retreat from the battlefield until there is a signal. <laughs> so your weapon has finished. What are you going to use to fight terrorists that are still shooting? And you are there with whatever you know. So now talk about you. 
that they, they call you bloody civilian. Nigerian government that sent the army there, when they run out of weapon, they will call for backup. You don't know what that means until you see something like that one day. If American police pack you, you know the American police they are not like Nigeria when they come and they can say back. They will come and they will virtually stand in front of the vehicle. Several times I have I have I have seen myself shouting on police and some of this thing that's that stands on road on the road. You come and put your chest in front of the motor. Stop! I said, my friend, is that what they taught you in school? Is that what they taught you in your school that you should use your chest to stop motor? If the brake of this motor fails, you will die for nothing. That was not what they are taught. In America, you are taught in driving school. When you see police car following you, they will put on their light. They will put siren. All these uh, lights, this is a flashlight that Nigerian police are, are wasting on the road. Even when they are carrying chingon for their guard, they will blow siren. American police will follow you based on the driving school of every American. They will follow you if they want you to park. They will follow you and put on their light. They will put siren. From your rear light, you will see flashlight. It's called flashlight. Then respect yourself and pack. And when you pack, don't come out. In Nigeria, when police say, hey, hey, you come and say, okay, what happen? Don't go and do that in America. They will kill you. You pack. When you pack, because some of you want to go to America. I'm not quarreling with that. So let me teach you. Because some of you, Nigeria have damaged your brain. When you reach there, you go to Nigeria, you will go to prison. May you not even die before you learn. <laughs> because you, can't, you, can't, you can't learn anything well after you are, you are dead. American driving school said, remain in your car. Put your hand on your steering as if you are still driving. But park. Put your hand on your steering. The police is watching you. He will park and come out. Meet you there, right in your car, and greet you first. Hello? Before you will know what backup is, if the police see you, he's scanning everywhere and there's a microphone in his body. Every conversation between you and him, they are listening in the station. And once he discover that his life is under threat, immediately he will call for backup. Within three minutes, you will see several vehicles of police. And when you see several vehicles of police, after a police has pulled you over in America, just know that that day you will go to prison. Nothing, you cannot escape it. You must go to prison. Not be cell, they don't get cell. Now prison they will take you to. And the following day you appear in court. Back up. Why wow. did I just explain this? Back up. They should not waste time at all. Because somebody that is calling you, his life is that threat so if he call and you don't answer that means you don't believe him then he will just die and when he die you have wasted somebody and so many innocent boys and girls army police they have been wasted in the battlefield because of that How do you blame Air Force man that go and bomb village? Why won't he bomb village? You said you should not you, you should not bomb the terrorists. You should just scare them away. Eh? He said that the Fulani husband, they are also Nigerians. Don't kill them, scare them away. Scare them to where? 
And to scare somebody away, you must put the bomb before them. So that the bomb will not touch them because your guys say, scare them away. And the woman make me say, drum bomb on top of somebody that is already sleeping. So you see the revelation of it now? So that even you that is sleeping in your village and bomb is about to drop on top of you, you wake up and go to a secure place. Let it be that you just wake up and enter bush to, en to go to the toilet, even when the toilet is in your room. It is a revelation for the now. Something the heaven will just do to make sure that you are secure. That is what is going to be happening to you any moment from now. Receive it! Receive it! If what you have heard today, you like it, open your mouth and give him praise. Give him praise. And give him thanks. For this revelation, Revelation for the now. A one person is an idol worshiper. Deliver yourself from worry and make sure you sleep. Make sure you sleep and allow somebody else to sleep. Don't be a distraction to somebody. If you do, you are a distraction to you people's security.